What's up guys, back with another video. A couple of y'all were requesting another video, uh, an update on the 240. Um, so basically what I did was I found the fuel pump that fell inside the gas tank and it shorted some out. Um, I did change a fuse. Um, I changed the fuse, put some new spark plugs, oil change, um, new belts, and uh, she cranked right up after, look how, look at that, 2016. Yeah, she'll, she'll crank up. She doesn't have the, the intake on, but the mass airflow sensors off of it. But yeah, um, other thing I did do, I bought some side skirts for it. I need a, they're fiberglass, they're old school fiberglass side skirts. So I gotta kind of like shave them to make them fit or, you know, Grind them down, I guess. I did also get some valences for it. Where's that? Yeah. yeah, I spray painted all this, but I mean, it matches. It matches pretty good. I mean, I don't really care, but it's close enough. But they kind of go like this. Like back up so you can see it good. I right, get up. So you gotta come. Like I think I'm gonna like rivet them on there somehow. There, yeah, just like that. But I think I'm look good. So I got the side skirts on on one side. I did have to cut it and I put it in with some rivets, um, but it fit kind of. So now I'm putting in the valences in the back and uh, it's coming out pretty good. Um, I did have to heat it up with the heat gun uh, to make it fit, kind of mold it to it, but I'm about to put some rivets on it now and see how it comes out. All right, so I'm gonna put some rivets in. I'm gonna show y'all how to use some rivets. Or the rivet gun. So basically, you get a drill with a, you know, with a, with a bit that's about the same size as the rivet that you're gonna use, and you just figure out where you want to hit it. I'm gonna hit it about right here, and you just go for it. All right, once it's through, I am gonna repaint these, but for now, just stick them in there. So you just stick it in there, that side. I get your rivet gun. Plus, if y'all see, I am heating it up at the same time. Cause I'm kind of like trying to mold it to shape. It is fiberglass, so it's not a perfect mold. So basically you just squeeze on it until it clamps down. It'll snap off break off on the cone and it's on there so that's pretty much how you use it i'll put like a couple more down here but i still gotta hit, hit it with the heat gun good and um we'll get back to that one i'll show you how it looks well it didn't come out perfect or exactly how i wanted it but it looks pretty nice not too bad um we're gonna go ahead and put the wheels on What's up guys i'm finally back it's been a couple weeks but um the weather has been real crappy here lately and i've been really busy today i actually had jury duty so i got out early so i was able to come home and work on a car a little bit but let me show y'all what i got basically today i'm gonna try to just throw some paint on the side skirts Let's see a little focus there you go 
So we got side skirts on. I had to cut the end, like the ends of the side skirts to make it fit a little, and I filled them up with some of this stuff. It's like expanding foam, um, but you can see it there. It doesn't look too bad. Hopefully, it'll. I'll sand it down a bit, and then I'll throw some paint over it, so shouldn't really see it. But here we go. already primered it so what I did was just wipe it off with a towel then I went over it with some scotch bright wiped it again threw some perfect match scratch fitted primer on there what I'm gonna do next is wipe it down one more time because it's, it's been dry um, then I got this perfect match universal white it matches pretty good I did the the little um, valence back there and it looks decent so Remember guys, I'm not a professional and I really don't care if it looks too professional. You know, it's just a car I like to mess around with. I've had this car for over 10 years, so it's been something I've been messing around with for a long time and I could take it, you know, to get it professionally done, but that wouldn't be fun. Give it one coat. I'm let it sit for about, I don't know, I think it says like 20, 30 minutes. Let it dry and then I'll hit it with another coat. All right, just gotta put the last coat of uh, clear and should be good. Let it dry for a little bit. <laughs> 